what's going on guys national master james canty the third here and today i'm showing you guys a game that i crushed an international master with the c3 sicilian or the alapin or what we call it here the c3 sicil for the kill i was playing it just a training session just playing some bullet games got paired up with a 2601 bullet rated uh international master and crushed him absolutely destroyed him with the c3 sicilian but here's the twist it actually started as a Karo Khan. So let's look right into it, guys. Here we go. All right, so I play white. E4, he goes C6. And this is this is very nice to know that openings can transpose many times. So after C6, I have D4 and D5. Now, what I usually do is actually capture here. I like to play the exchange variation. And after capture is back, um, I usually go Bishop D3 or C3. This is the Bobby Fischer exchange variation of the, um, the Karo Khan. Some people don't like it. Some people are like, oh, it's not that good. But I've actually had very good success with this opening. I actually beat International Master over the board with this opening. So this was uh, pretty nice. But I recently, because I've been getting more Sicilian positions, more C3 Sicilian-like positions that I absolutely love, I have been playing this variation, C4, which is usually the Panov Botvinnik. That's what they say, this Panov Botvinnik um, variation of... Uh, of um the Karakhan. So after C4, what did he do? Capture? No, he played knight to C6. And I've been getting this a lot lately too, guys. Now, this video is going to be in the C3 Sicilian playlist uh, videos. So you can see the the playlist or the videos in the playlist there. But um I've I've covered this before. Watch how this transposes this to something you've seen before. After knight to C6, pawn takes and then queen takes, and I am literally in a C3 Sicilian variation. I think the video that you can see this exact position in, or very close, very, very similar, is my favorite C3 Sicilian variation. I think that's the name of the video. You can check it out. It's very sharp. So, of course, I went from a Carol Khan into something that I already know how to play, like the back of my hand. I got my lightsaber, okay? I, I, I graduated the School of the Jedi and was given this opening as a reward here. So, the C3 Sicilian is a... Uh, is my thing so c3 cecile for the kill now we're into my territory knight f3 bishop g4 i'm all used to this i am ready to go into battle it's about to get crazy and again um this stuff is covered in the other video so we go deep into depth uh, depth into this um into this opening or into this move here and what we should do so after bishop g4 knight to c3 is book here and taking is just i'll briefly show you if you've never seen a video guys i highly recommend you go check it out but here, after takes, 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 and takes, and takes, we have an interesting position where it looks like black's just doing fine. But in reality here, after this next move by white, it's actually the reverse. White has a huge initiative here, and I have won countless games with the white pieces in this position. Even as far as if someone goes knight e6, I do knight takes a7, guys. I am prepared for this. Um, for this. I'm prepared for all of it. So there's a lot going on. A lot going on and I, i'm already prepared for this so we actually play queen a5 which anytime they move the queen i already know i pretty much got them so let's see what happens here you play queen a5 i go d5 on instinct because this is always the move to make because it's aggressive and you want to attack the knight we expect a rook coming to d8 and he castles queen side but it actually opens the c file so automatically i hit him with a move here bishop to d2 now you either give up the exchange immediately or I'm going to play knight b5 after you move your knight to a square. And the c file is open here. Now, guys, let's see what happened. He went knight e5. That's an aggressive move in a way. Attacking my knight, and I can't take it because my queen is here. But his queen is in trouble here. And after looking at this with the engine, uh, I played the correct move here, knight to b5. And after he takes on f3. So first off, knight b5 is I'm hitting his queen. And I also have rook c1 coming. And bishop f4 and all this other stuff. So this is going to be nasty for him in a minute. So he takes here. So he says, if you take my queen, I'm going to take your queen. And this is what I play. Actually, guys, what would you actually play in this position? What would you play in this position right here? White to move. What do you do? All right, here we go. Now, here's a few options. You can do G takes F3. You can do rook c1 check and queen c2 check. What I chose was actually g takes f3. What the engine chose was actually this, queen c2, and I'm doing great. I didn't even see this move. Now, of course, it is a bullet game. It's one minute, but this is high-level bullet, sharp stuff. I can get this in a three-minute game. I can get this in a five-minute game. I can get this same position or very similar in a classical game. So here with bullet, this is a higher level because this is like book stuff. Queen to c2 is hitting check or it's hitting the king, and I'm also about to take the queen. 
The queen's hanging. I totally just didn't see this. So now what's cool is I've had a similar positions before in different time controls with uh with this opening in and in this manner. Very similar. And I would always go work to C1. I was very used to doing that. So queen to C2 is, a, is an improvement. And that's why you want to analyze even the games that you win. Because it's nice to see uh, this improvement. Queen to C2 just wins, I mean, flawlessly here. So now G takes F3. Queen B6 here. I'm still doing well here. Rook to C1 check, and then uh, King to B8. So Bishop F4 is a move. There was a lot of moves. The engine was like, I'm crushing. Queen C2. Just keep going. Queen C2. They kept throwing that out there, and I think I never played that move. But after King B8, Bishop F4, I knew F6 was coming. And I, I did think to myself, like, I probably could have played this better. Because after F6, it, yeah, there's stuff here. And, I mean, I can't actually really attack this as much as I want to. His pieces aren't getting out right now, but I'm like, where is the rest of my game at? What do I do? How do I finish this off here? Because you know you feel good here with white, but you have to figure out the, the, the right process to do this. So I just tried to get creative. I played bishop e3 first, just to back up because I'm hitting a7, the check. So he needs to do something with the queen. He absolutely checks me because he needs that tempo. So if I, if I go queen d2, that's a decisive blunder. GG. I mean, you may still have some conversation because the king's looking crazy and he's not fully developed, but just don't give him this. And then I went bishop to d2 instead. Oh, actually, sorry, b4 first. I went b4 first with the idea of if he takes, I'm just going to gain another tempo on the queen here. It's just kind of a weird move that I've made before. And also, the queen is very short on spaces, guys. The queen literally has nowhere to go but h4. So this was very interesting to me. After queen h4, then I play f4 here just to make the knight move and put my bishop on e3. I wonder why I didn't do that. Oh, because queen b4. Yeah, that's why I didn't go there. Okay. He went knight to g4. And what would you play now, guys? This was, the engine was like, do this and this. And I was like, wow, I did not think of that. Now, and I still have to even see the follow-up. Because I don't even know what the follow-up is after that. Here we go. All right. White to move, guys. What are you thinking? What are you going to play? F2 is hanging. So this is immediate. So you need to do something about F2 right now. It's only like a few moves you can make to handle this. Here we go. So bishop e3 is actually the move the engine chose, but I didn't. I, I would. I like literally dismissed it because I was like, oh, he just takes it, and like this is pinned. But the engine says queen d4, and this was the better line. Now I need to see what happens after b6 though. B6 just destroy everything. Front door is open. Just kick the door in. We are in the house. King takes or knight takes a7. What about king b7? Because we have to defend b6, and then it's queen takes e3. Yeah, I guess so. And this is like plus 20. That's ridiculous. I don't, I see the compensation, but plus 20, that's a lot. <laughs> plus 20? Dang. Plus 20. Wow. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, what I actually chose, if you said queen f3, you are correct. I actually chose queen f3. I just wanted to put the queen here just to see what happens. I think he can take on d5, but this is, again, also a bullet game. So I'm just trying to make good moves quickly. Queen to f3. He plays e5. D takes e6, and actually after e5, he just wanted to get the bishop out, I assume. And I sat here for a minute, and I was like, what? why don't I just en passant, get the pawn a little bit closer? So I did, and I also opened up this diagonal because I wanted to have this, another piece in the game, towards his king. After d takes e6, he goes knight e5. I did not understand this move. I, I, just, I just think he was in trouble, and like, you know, you need something to do. Bishop g2 is coming. Like, how? what do you do here? What do you do? Maybe the rook sack? I thought he was going to try this. Is that, I think that's why he, uh, that's what I thought he was doing. But then after knight takes f2, like, I mean, your king is, like, getting made it. Maybe bishop g2 right now. This looks, like, over. This looks decisive. Maybe bishop b4 check. And then um, king c2? Because anything else, king e2, he can, like, trade. So I don't want to trade. So let's go here. I think that's out. I think this is over. How do you even stop this? You have to give up more material. Yeah, so that, that couldn't have worked. That couldn't have worked. So he didn't go for that. So after Ampassant, he played knight e5, and I captured, and then he plays f takes e5. I went bishop g2, and then he went uh, he went uh, e4 first, because this is, like, I think the only move. No, he had queen e7. Queen e7, but on queen e7, I was just going to go rook c7, and this is over. Uh, okay, so e4 is the move he chose here, because he's like, oh, trade him off. You know, trade him off here. And of course, this is a bullet game. We're getting very low on time. Um, and things can happen, especially playing an international master. He's 2601, pushing tight. I mean, real big fella here. And after bishop f4 check, like, uh, this, this guy decisive. King a8. I checked him first, but I could have just taken. But I didn't find any, I didn't find any nice discoveries. Oh, is that mate? No, bishop a3. The idea here, guys, was knight check. Okay. Knight check. And then check. And that's mate. That's nasty. 
but you would thought that was made. Oh my goodness. He found the tallest building he could find and he jumped off of it. Wow. Do not do that. But that does look nice though. And there's no other way to do anything else. You can't grab any other material, honestly. So I just went with queen takes c4 because now this is blocked. I'm also hitting mate. And then he plays b6. Oh, no, he plays bishop b4 check first. I took on b4. And then he plays b6. Now, first off, I just want to look at the position material count wise. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces versus four. I'm up two pieces. And then actually because these two pieces are locked in, I'm literally up about four pieces. This is insane. Never seen anything like it. And now, what would you do in this position, guys? White to move. How did you finish the game here? Give me five seconds. Here it is. White plays knight a6. Oh, and leans back. Turns off the lightsaber, and his body drops. Absolutely. That is exactly what happened here, guys. International Master goes down 26-01 to the C3 Cecile for the kill. That's exactly what we play here at the channel. But it started as a Carol Khan. So for all you C3 Sicilian players out there, for all the Alipin players, the C3 Cecile for the, for the kill clan here at the GM Factory where these Jedi train. Okay, you can know that the Carol Khan, the Carol Khan can also turn into a C3 Sicilian real fast by playing it this way. E4, C6, D4, D5, snap, snap. C4, C4 all day and every day. And then knight c3, I capture on d5. I mean, knight c6, capturing on d5. And now again, I highly recommend you go watch the other video on um, on the, the c3 Sicilian, my favorite variation, which is it start, it's actually this one. This is, this is my favorite variation of the c3 Sicilian. So um, when I'm facing this variation, like he was already in my pet line, basically, my favorites. So you can check it out yourself to see the other moves that white makes in, or black makes in this position. So you can see, I think we cover this one. We cover uh, this one. I think we go over queen d7. We also cover bishop takes f3. And maybe some other moves, I think, too, as well. But uh, check that one out when you guys get a chance here. Knight to c3, d5, bishop d2. This is strictly book here. Now, of course, book kind of ends right here. I think they do like rook c1 a lot of times and other things. But now I know that queen c2 is actually an option that we want to choose and go for based off of the check. And bishop takes the queen. But we take here. I mean, you still have a great game. You just make threats. If you notice, every move, guys, I was making threats. Every single move here, except queen f3, I was defending, but I captured there. I took took that one, made a threat. Made a threat. Made a threat. Made a threat. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. The more threats you make, the better, right? So this is the, the game I played. Crush the International Master with the C3 Cecile for the kill. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the other playlists and videos here. Subscribe to the channel. Share this video. Like it. Let me know what you guys think. And thank you so much, guys, and I'll see you on the next video.